Welcome to this lecture on what's knowledge acquisition as part of course on social science research methodologies. To begin with, uh, let's look at a f famous quote by Joe Rogan, who has said that one of the most fascinati uh, fascinating lessons he has absorbed about life is that the struggle is good. In a way, this is a knowledge. This is this is a knowledge-based statement or opinion that a lot of people can relate to, and a lot of people accept as um, a knowledge statement. So, um, fundamentally, this statement or this knowledge-based um, idea comes from a method of knowledge acquisition that's very dependent on one person's thoughts and belief. So if Joe Rogan believes that, you know, that one of the most fascinating lessons is that struggle is good, maybe this, this knowledge or this idea or thought is not shared with everyone. It's also not tested by everyone so that it can be verified and generalized. So this, um, there are several types of uh, ways to um, to acquisite knowledge, to gain knowledge. But the, the most important question is, can all of these methods, can all of these knowledges be shared in ways that can be generalized and can be verified based on the same evidence and based, and on, based on the same level of confidence? So if Joe Rogan believes with, let's say, 100% that struggle is good, is this belief shared by everyone else? Maybe yes, but is it shared at the same level of confidence as Joe Rogan? Maybe some people would say, I believe in it in, uh, as a 50% thing. Maybe some people say, I believe in it as a 60% thing because I've seen someone who actually failed miserably while struggling. While struggles make some people's life worse. While some will say, well, I have an observation or I've seen someone who actually, whose life actually changed positively after a struggle. So opinions and thoughts is, are the main actors here. And in a way, it is just a word of idea. He said, or it's being said or have been passed down to me, or it's been experienced, or it has been acknowledged, or we believe, or I believe, or, or, or opinionate. But this is only knowledge through thoughts and beliefs. Now, the second type of knowledge that the science is very reliant on is through scientific methods. And it's, and it's a knowledge acquisition through scientific methods because it's testing theories and hypotheses and applying analysis using scientific methods and approaches. So some of these scientific methods are that the method that should be used um, is, is empirical. That means that there's no subjectivity. So if, 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 if uh, Joe Rogan was to test this uh, taught, then he should he should treat it from from a very empirical perspective, or there should be no feelings or subjectivity in testing this this hypothesis, this idea. Otherwise, it will fail one of the main characteristics of a scientific method, which is empiricism. So, any scientific based explanation or study that does that has subjectivity in it has bias in it it's 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 considered as vague or it's, it's considered as um uh, as uh, as a uh, uh, lacking uh, the scientific validity and the second method characteristic in scientific method is systematic so the this the study or the method that apply, that's applied should be systematic in a way that should be structured and should be guarded against any bias. So if the scientist 
is testing something, then it should be ensured that he or she keeps his bias away and that he or she is following a set of structured um, processes and steps in testing that that phenomenon. Third one is explicity. So the 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 test the, the scientific uh, test or study should be explicit. There should be no, nothing hidden. There should be there should be sufficient sufficient elaboration so that whoever wants to uh, mimic uh, replicate that study should be able should be able to follow that procedure to uh, to replicate or produce similar result. And that takes us to the fourth um, characteristic, which is transmissibility and replicability. So when scientist conducts a test, um, he or she should make sure that he also provides sufficient details to the next scientist who will check that study test to see if he or she can receive the same if she or he or she can rep, rep, replicate that test. In other words, he or she is able to receive the same result as the first one. So uh, knowledge acquisition should also have the characteristic of transmissibility and replicability. The fifth one is lo uh, a logic. So it has to be logic. It has to follow a series of logical steps. And it has to have uh, scientific logical reasoning embedded in it. And the last one is verifiability. So that study has to be verified. It has to be verifiable. Otherwise, it is just, it will not be considered as scientifically valid. So there are also some scientific claims. So what Joe Rogan says, again, is a, is a scientific, is, is, is a knowledge acquisition or taught, is, is a knowledge acquisition through taught or, 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 or taught-based knowledge acquisition or taught-based knowledge statement. So, but what, what a scientist would produce is what we call a scientific claim. So, although it's a scientifically tested um, statement or hypothesis or theory, we still call it a claim because that's the essence, that's the nature of science, that science never takes something as final. So, uh, knowledge claims based on scientific methods are never considered as proven or true. So, as I just said, although Joe Rogan or somebody with uh, with the same level of intellect and scholarship as Joe would say, I'm saying this statement with full confidence and it's proven, it's true, and they would use those kind of words. But when it comes to scientific method, when it comes to... Um, when it comes to when it comes to experiments and when it comes to scientific studies, we we are not supposed to use the word true or proven. We are not supposed to use the word final, because it doesn't matter how many times a a phenomenon is put to test and 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 verified, we can never use the word proven in a scientific um, uh, material, or in a in a, in, a, in, a, in a in a scientific study because it's never proven and it's never final and it's never true. So therefore, scientific claim must consider the followings while they're um, studying a scientific, some, a phenomenon through scientific lenses. Scientific claim can only accept or reject a null hypothesis. It never proves it. So you'll, you will learn in the next lessons where you will test a hypothesis and at the end where you report a, 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 your hypothesis, you never say that I prove my hypothesis as true, as final. Or you never say I, I, I consider my hypothesis final. You always say I accept the null hypothesis or you say I accept the alternative hypothesis or you say I reject or I fail to reject. So. So these are the sort of this is the sort of language that you know you would you you would see that science, science scientific studies are are, are uh, tailored with, and again it's because of the, it's because of the reason that you know no knowledge is final, it's all it's continuously put to test, it's continu continuously investigated, and it's continu continu continuously verified and falsified. So the second one is scientific claim must be testifiable. So if a scientist has, a, has, has conducted a study, then his study should be, be testifiable. Someone else should be able to test that. 
Otherwise, it's not considered a scientific material. And third one is scientific claim must be falsifiable. So if something can be verifiable, the thing should also be falsifiable. So no scientist should say that, oh, my science, my scientific discovery is is final and true and it's not falsifiable because I have 100% confidence. You will never see a, um, a scientific claim to say we are 100% sure or confident that this is happening. The highest it can get is 99.999% to infinity, but it will never be 100%. Because why? Because it, it's, it, because science, science by nature, uh, by essence, is falsifiable. And the last one is scientific claim must always be skeptical. So it doesn't matter, again, how many times a, a, a claim, a scientific claim has been tested and, 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 and hypothesized and, and, and accepted as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an alternative hypothesis, it should still be considered as skeptical and should, also, should always be considered as, as, as subject of additional study. And then let's come to the last part, a scientific method useful for social science. Um, as our friend uh, Snoop agrees, yes. A scientific method is 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 one of the research methods used in the social science, where social scientists take advantage of, of this method to uh, conduct tests, uh, conduct uh, for for theories and hypotheses. Uh, so they use scientific methods to um, to conduct systematic observation and analysis of social behaviors, uh, which otherwise would again be all, if 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 in, in which if they don't do it it would only be an educated guess or or how Joe Rogan statement would be it won't be scientifically backed theory hypothesis or claims and then lastly it helps um, scientific uh, scientific method in social science it helps draw scientifically backed descriptive and predictive analysis of individuals and collective behaviors related to society so through scientific methods, we can actually not only describe existing behaviors, we can also predict any hidden or um, future behaviors that exist in a society. With all that being said, um, I, I'm hoping that I did not miss anything in this lecture. Um, although I still agree that the struggle is good, Again, is this, but I don't agree that this is a final uh, proven uh, 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 statement. Thank you so much and have a great day.